Recently, I asked the internet what day most changed the course of history. The responses range from surprising and strange to insightful and thought-provoking. Among them, the day when a prehistoric asteroid struck the Yucatan Peninsula, or when in 1440, Johannes Gutenberg finished his printing press. And of course, the day in 1903, when the Wright brothers showed the world that man really can fly. If the same question were asked to you, what would you say? The answer is clear. We must go back to that evening almost 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ knelt in intense prayer and offered himself as a ransom for our sins. It was during this great and infinite sacrifice of unparalleled suffering in both body and spirit that Jesus Christ bled at every pore. He gave all that we might receive all. His supernal sacrifice reminds us of the universal debt of gratitude we owe Christ for his divine gift. What is it that makes the infinite sacrifice and the resurrection of Jesus Christ the most important event in history, more influential than world wars, cataclysmic disasters, and life-changing scientific discoveries? The answer lies in two great, unsurmountable challenges that every one of us faces. First, we all die. No matter how young, beautiful, healthy, or cautious you are, someday your body will become lifeless. Friends and family will mourn you, but they cannot bring you back. Nevertheless, because of Jesus Christ, your death will be temporary. Your spirit one day will reunite with your body. This resurrected body will not be subject to death, and you will live in the eternities, free from pain and physical suffering. This will happen because of Jesus the Christ, who laid down his life and took it up again. He did this for all who believe in him. He did this for all who do not believe in him. Second, we have all sinned. As a result, every man, woman, and child was shut out of his presence. That is, until Jesus Christ offered his life as a ransom for our sins. Because Jesus owed no debt to justice, he could pay our debt and meet the demands of justice for every soul. Jesus Christ paid the price for our sins. Because of Jesus Christ, we will rise from the despair of death and embrace those we love. Because of Jesus Christ, we will exist as eternal beings. Because of Jesus Christ, our sins cannot only be erased, they can be forgotten. We can become purified and exalted, holy. In spite of all of this, there are many in the world today who are either not aware of or do not believe in the precious gift Jesus Christ has given us. They may have heard of Jesus Christ and know of him as a historical figure, but they do not see him for who he truly is. Opinions about him vary in the world. Ancient and modern prophets testify that he is the Son of God. So when you ponder the life and ministry of Jesus Christ, what do you see? When you are encompassed by sorrows and grief, behold the man. When you feel lost or forgotten, behold the man. When you are despairing, deserted, doubting, damaged or defeated, behold the man. He will comfort you. He will heal you and give meaning to your journey. He will pour out His Spirit and fill your heart with exceeding joy. He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might, He increases strength. 
His refining light saturates our souls. His grace uplifts us. Our burdens are lightened. Our peace deepened. What will become of the sorrows you have endured in this life? They will be gone. The disappointments, betrayals, persecutions you have faced, gone. The suffering, heartache, guilt, shame, and anguish you have passed through, gone. Is it any wonder that we strive with all our hearts to truly behold the man? That as we behold the man, we will find meaning, joy, and peace in this earthly life and eternal life in the world to come. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.